In this video, we will be demonstrating a step-by-step -step application using the high-volume Macron fusion pump. In this video, we will be using Arbitec to protect an elm for Dutch elm disease, but this process can also be applied to treatments for sycamore and thracnose. When you first arrive on site, it is best to inspect the tree for girdling roots, root rot, or any other signs of stress. Inspect the canopy as well to check for any signs of stress or dieback as this can impact uptake and distribution. If you notice flagging and are treating for Dutch elm disease, do not treat the tree. Arbitect will not cure trees already infected with Dutch elm disease. If you suspect Dutch elm disease infection, you may need to take samples prior to application to confirm diagnosis. We recommend not treating trees with significant rot, girdling roots, or dieback. Contact our solution center if you are unsure of your specific scenario. Inspect the root flare to determine how much of the root flare you will need to excavate. Not all trees may require excavation and you should excavate enough so that injection sites are 4 to 8 inches below the crest of the root flare. Use a shovel or a trowel to remove sod and soil from around the base of the tree, careful not to damage the trunk. Thoroughly brush the loose soil from the root flare using a coarse brush. Any soil left on the root flare can dull drill bits, clog tees, and increase uptake time. Next you will begin drilling the holes for injection sites. You will need to use a 15 64 inch high helix drill bit and we recommend changing out drill bits every 5 trees to ensure sharpness. We recommend these types of drill bits since they cut on the way in as well as out, ensuring a clean cut and better uptake. Place the drill perpendicular to the surface of the flare and quickly drill in and out about 1 inch into healthy xylem tissue beneath the bark. This depth can vary depending on the thickness of the bark on the tree you are treating. Make sure not to spin the bit while in the tree. This can cauterize the injection site, sealing off some of the tissue and reducing uptake efficiency. You will want to use 1.5 infusion sites per dBH inch, which comes out to approximately 1 T every 4 to 6 inches. Some things you want to consider when making infusion sites is make sure to have at least one infusion site for each root flare, and do not place infusion sites into or below dead tissue, along with not drilling into very deep valleys or sunken areas. When you drill, you should get a cream colored pigtail that comes out of the infusion site. This indicates that you are drilling into healthy tissue and the drill bit is sharp. If the material coming out of the drill site is a dark and crumbly material, this usually indicates that you have hit a decay pocket and should reposition your infusion site. As you begin inserting your tees into the infusion sites, inspect the tees to ensure they are clear of debris and replace any damaged tees you find. Firmly place tees into the infusion sites by hand to form a continuous ring around the base of the tree, looping the tubing up and down in an S-shaped pattern. Do not push too hard or pound tees into the site as this can restrict distribution of product. You will now want to open up two sections in the harness on opposite sides of the tree by removing one end of tubing from one of the injection tees. You will use your supply tubing and the black connector tees to attach the supply tubes to your pump. Now you will begin priming the pump by adding water to your reservoir. Prime the pump by filling the intake hose with water and immediately submerging it into the reservoir to reduce any air bubbles. You should check the site beforehand to determine if you will need a water source or if there is a hose attached to the house that you can use. Now start your pump by connecting it to a power source. We offer a 12 volt and 115 volt option so that will determine your source of power. Run only water through the system at first while priming and use this time to check for any leaks or loose tees. If you find loose tees, gently tap them into the infusion site to secure them. If any of your tees continue to leak, you can either drill a new site or bypass it with a longer piece of tubing. If you are treating for Dutch elm disease, you will want to check water quality prior to mixing Arbitect into the tank. Do this by taking water in a clear mixing container and putting drops of Arbitect in it. If a precipitant forms, you'll need to run the water through a deionizer or buffer the solution with muriatic acid at a rate of 1 ounce per 6 gallons of solution. When determining dosage for your treatments, please refer to the product label for specific rates. Stop the pump and add the product and any remaining water to the reservoir. When restarting the pump, make sure to maintain a pressure of 15 to 20 psi, which can be adjusted by the grain knob above the pressure gauge. Inspect the harness and tees one more time, then pack up your remaining gear. From there, you should monitor the system to ensure uptake and watch out for any tees that may come loose. You may begin preparing other trees on site, but be sure to always have an eye on your trees and check back periodically to ensure everything is running smoothly. Once the reservoir is empty and pushing air, you may remove the tubing and tees, keeping them in 6 to 10 foot sections for easier use next time. Do not treat the infusion sites with wound paint or any other sealing compounds. Replace any removed soil and sod and you're all set to move on to your next site. 